Buddy Gers Girly is my name and gaming is my thing. I have another Universal Yums box and I'm thirsty today. I have been so thirsty today. Uh, I better put my knife back away before I fucking drop it. So today's Universal Yums box took four fucking ever to come in and I finally had to raise a complaint with UPS that it has been sitting in a town three hours away from me for nearly three weeks. So, <clears throat> figures the day after I do that, they send it to me. So today we're going to Poland. I did get a sticker. I was gonna say I didn't get a sticker with this one, but I did. And I also I have the, uh, the world sticker. I'm going to put those in this drawer over here where I should have been putting all of them. But I don't know where they've all gone. Uh, oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute! Um, is that the first thing we start with? No. So, okay. So, here we go. To Poland. Uh, and the first thing here is onion and cheese pretzel sticks. The cheesiest, zestiest sticks in Poland. I'm not going to try to pronounce that word at the top. That's not English or German. Therefore, I don't speak it. I don't want to like rip open the whole package. Oh, those look so cute. Oh, shit. I'm going to eat those anyway. Uh, they, those over there might kill me. That's a joke. I'm just mildly allergic to the next item. Um, it's literally, this one right here is literally just a pretzel stick. That, oh, kind of looks like a bamboo stick. It's not bad, but, you know, when I think pretzel stick, I think salt. There's absolutely no salt on this. It also doesn't taste like garlic or cheese. It just tastes like a... It literally tastes like a pretzel stick with no salt on it. Kind of disappointing. Not bad, though. Somebody's messaging me on Facebook. And since I'm a fucking professional, I don't have it muted. So, uh... Yeah, muted that. Not bad. Um, the second thing we have here is cocoa glazed gingerbread sticks. Now, um, I've never had a good experience eating gingerbread. Always makes my tongue feel kind of funny. I can play with it. I can build a gingerbread house. I usually don't eat it. But... I guess I could have showed you guys the package. But it looks super cute. And they look like probably Polish uh, Pocky sticks. That is definitely gingerbread. I probably won't eat a whole stick. It's literally just Polish Pocky. I'm not going to eat a whole stick, like I said, because I do have a minor gingerbread allergy. not good. Ugh. It's like eating the walls off a gingerbread house. I didn't like that. i put that over there. <clears throat> what do we have next? Don't look at that. How dare you? Turn my box so you can't see into it. What we have next is a Patsy Melko dark chocolate covered marshmallow bar. Melzeko? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's uh, M-L-E-C-Z-K-O. It's marshmallow bar. I should hit myself in the head with it. That is dark chocolate. <coughs> 
I'm not a bit the biggest fan of dark chocolate. I'm really not a big fan of chocolate. I prefer green apple. Uh, everything. That's cute. It has a... So it's... There's this little brand mark on it, and it's E dot W E D E L, um, and it literally has that printed all over the back. Uh, the bar I'm going to show you, despite the fact I don't have a camera fancy enough to pick it up. So, oh, it's so soft. It's like a marshmallow cookie. That is not good marshmallow. I'm trying to think, is it Halloween or is it Christmas we get nasty candies that taste like that? Ew. I didn't like that. Uh, the next one is hopefully my personal favorite because I absolutely love the packaging that it's in and I love the name of it. It is called Original Monster Munch Potato Crisps. And there are literally little ghosts all over the packaging. It says Poland's saltiest, scariest potato snack. And I'm actually super excited for these. Please tell me they look like little ghosts. It's a ghost! <laughs> ah! It's a ghost! <laughs> that is the greatest thing ever! I don't even want to eat it! It's so cute! Oh my god, there's just a little bag of ghosts. Oh my god, they're so cute. Wow, Poland, you really gotta step it up. If this is your saltiest chip, America has you beat by like, just looking at a can of Pringles. Which is what this tastes like. It tastes like a Pringle without any salt on it. But it's good and they're adorable, so. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Taste, five out of 10. 10 out of 10 would buy that just for the ghosts. Okay, well, I have one of these bags. I don't always get one of these yum bags. My next item is apparently in it. That doesn't look good. Okay. That's the one I'm going after. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, no. We're gonna hope that this is strawberry. Okay, so this is a, a Yozy yogurt candy. It says they come in strawberry, raspberry, peach, or lemon. And I believe this is a peach. We're gonna try this one and hope it's the strawberry. There's more gingerbread in there. Oh my God. I'm gonna eat it anyway, cause it's not like gingerbread is deadly to me. It's a hard candy. I thought it was like a little soft candy cause it said it was a, it's a yogurt. I, I thought it was going to be soft. That's raspberry. That is not strawberry. I don't like raspberries. It says there's yogurt inside it. There was not yogurt inside it. I, uh, I feel lied to. <coughs> no. I 
I didn't like that. Um, maybe it's, they've got a, a wild strawberry and a sour lemon. Maybe if I had gotten one of those and got to try it, I would like it. But I don't like raspberries, and I'm not the biggest fan of peach. So, they literally gave me the two worst options, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. I'm not even going to eat that other one. <coughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and get this other gingerbread item out of the way, since it's next on the list. It is a chocolate-covered, uh, pure gingerbread cookie. P-I-E-R-N-I-C-Z-K-I. Um, uh, it's, it's a gingerbread cookie. Oh, there's, it says cookies. I only feel a singular cookie in here. Oh, Okay, well, now I've got to open it up, because they're, <laughs> they look like little turds. Ah! Uh, okay, first of all, this is a singular cookie. And second of all, it looks like a turd. I don't... Oh, it's dark chocolate again. No. That is all gingerbread with a thin layer of chocolate on it. And to that, my dear friends, I say no. Because <coughs> that probably would kill me. Um, milk fudge croaky, croca candy. Oh my god, don't unfold it. Milk fudge croca candy. Beloved Polish caramels with a crumbly outside and a gooey inside. And the packaging. Oh, wait. Aw. Uh, is there one that you can see on this one? No. Okay. Well, if I can hold my arm still. There's a cow! Look at the little cow. Does it give a name for a cow? Say hello to Poland's most popular candy, the little cow. We're not talking about the cow, the cute cow on the wrapper, though, that is adorable we're referencing to the candy's name which is literally little cow in polish oh so there's not a name for the cow and i'm sad now but the packaging is cute so well the packaging is like super thick it's super well wrapped it's actually like a little christmas present it's really cute it's got a really thick kind of paper on it, though. Oh, that's because it's double layered. I'm just stupid. Oh my god. Give me the caramel! Oh, there's paper on it. I hate that. There should be a plastic wrapper on the inside so I don't have to eat the paper. Oh, it's so soft. Oh. It's so soft. Hmm. I like that. I'm not going to eat that whole thing right now. Because that is super sweet. Super sweet. I can't fold it back up either because they made such pretty packaging. That's not made to uh, fold and unfold. That was good. I like that. We're going to finish it off. With the E. Weedle milk chocolate with peanut and cocoa filling. Decadence courtesy of Poland's oldest chocolatier. You already know about the E. Weld company, but did you know it was run by the Willy Wonka of Poland? Wow. It looks like a little wafer cookie. And of course, nothing on the package is in English. Somebody's really trying to get a hold of me, and I really just don't care. Okie dokie. I punched the mic. I'm so sorry.
Um, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I guess I looked at the wrong picture. So instead of looking at the Wayfair, you're supposed to look at this picture. You gonna see those three oddly colored spots? My tongue is burning. That's not good. Yeah, those three oddly colored spots are what's supposed to be on the inside. My tongue is burning. Hmm. Oh, I'll be right back. have any Benadryl uh I'm gonna have to like maybe I have some over here in this cabinet this sh oh this drawer down here uh Pepto Bismol in pill form if you're wondering why it's in my room and not in the fridge because it doesn't need to be refrigerated oh my god I don't have any fucking Benadryl. So, um, I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna go get some Benadryl because my tongue burns. And, uh, eh, you can't see it, but, um, uh, it's kind of numb. It's burning in some spots and numb in another. And, uh, I don't know what's doing that because gingerbread doesn't usually do that. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to keep any of the candies, just to be sure, because I didn't start feeling like that until after the caramels. I am, however, going to keep the caramel package, because the cow is cute. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry to end it on such an odd note. Uh, if you liked it, hit that like button. And if you liked me, hit that subscribe button, y'all. And if you like my shirt, you can order it from uh, Redbubble. It's not my design, but I really do love the design. Um, I paid like 20 bucks for this shirt. Really great shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. Bye!